Football El Paso style play to a special tune, a special flavor as well, as we're happy to present again this afternoon the Wells Fargo Sun Bowl from El Paso, Texas. First meeting ever between teams from the Pac-10 and the Big Ten, Washington State, and the Boilermakers of Purdue. We welcome you to El Paso. Purdue coming in with a 6-5 and five record, and the Cougars of Washington State, a great year, a 9-2 and two mark after the 11-game regular season had been concluded. Billy Newman is the deep man. This would be... Uh, if he does get it, only his fourth kickoff return of the season. Eric Coleman is also back. Newman drifts back, and Dorch plants one nine yards deep. It'll be Jason Gesser, now the fourth highest uh, achieving quarterback in Washington State history. See the season he had. And the one back set, two wide receivers. From the 20, there's the toss left to Dave Minnick. And Minnick is popped immediately and loses a yard. To Dave Minnick, the offensive line, Parrish, Hollenbeck, Hunt, Roche, and Armstrong. Dave Minnick is the senior running back. Jerome Riley, Mike Bush, the wideouts. Colin Henderson, also one of the three flanked uh, receivers. And Mike Baldwin is the tight end. Second down and 10 officially. Slip the ball inside to Dave Minnick, and he struggles for three. Defensive 11. Up front, it'll be Phillips, Terrell, Brandon Johnson starts for Matt Mitrione, who decided to end his collegiate career. Kudavides, Odom, and Landon Johnson. And in the uh, secondary, Woodyard, Schweigert, Farrell, and Rogers. Third and seven, Washington State. Fine conversion average for the season. Gesser wants to throw, flip it right side, Jerome Riley. He is going to make the grab, but then be brought down short of the first down. This one hangs up. Morales grabs it at the 28. Seth Morales on the reception. Moves across the 35. This bowl game has been the best thing that could have happened to Kyle Orton. Montrell Lowe, play fake on first down. Orton goes deep into double coverage, and he's got Stan deferred. Hit him in the hands, could not hang on. And as you look at his numbers, not a real high percentage, but again, he's a true freshman. From the 36. Joey Harris is coming to the backfield, and there's... Uh... The defense, five-yard penalty, still second down. Walk off the five-yard penalty. The offensive line, Lockheed. Bruskowski is the center, Kitchell, Butler. Montrell Lowe in the backfield, John Standiford, Taylor Stubblefield, and Seth Morales, the wideouts, and the tight end. He is an outstanding tight end, Tim Stratton. Horton, right side, knocked down before it got to the... Tupo, Tupai, Ryan Long, and Isaac Brown up front. Randall Smith, no way, and Genitone. And in the secondary, Trufant, Lamont Thompson, eight interceptions this year, Billy Newman, and Jason, third down. Orton with pressure, picked off, and here goes Washington State's Jason David. David in for the touchdown. Pat Bennett with pressure. Extra point from Drew Dunning is up and good. Jason David's second interception of the season. More significantly, that is the fifth interception returned for a touchdown this season by the Cougars. Their eighth defensive touchdown overall. And he excels at this. 29 touchbacks this season. This will not be one of them. Joey, Joey Harris, Harris, number 25. One yard, one yard. Contact made inside the 20. <laughs> Holiday from the 30. And this one's going to go out of bounds. So, uh, and he goes from the spread. Five-man defensive line. They're expecting run. Montrell low. Here's a reverse. They're going to pass it. Throw it deep, and Stanford's there. The ball is tipped and almost intercepted. By Marcus Trufant after he was beat. Chris James with the throw. Here's Montrell. 
Low going to the right side, slips a tackle, and then knocked out of bounds. Third down, seven nothing Washington State with the lead here in the early going. Orton comes left side, catch is made by Taylor Stubblefield, number 21, and that's going to be good for a first down. That's the future for Purdue football. First and ten, Purdue. And uh, whistle this for Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Ball back at the midfield strike. Low. Driven down. No gain. It is second down and 15. Joey Harris is in the backfield with Cedric Brown. It was James Price trying to time the blitz. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Cougars bring four. Orton has to scramble. And he is uh, caught. It's still a new offensive line. Third down, here comes the blitz. Orton has to go across the middle quickly. Finds his tight end, Stratton. But that is short. You can tell I'm the son of an offensive line coach. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always the line's fault. And here's the punt by Dorch. The Ray Guy award winner this year, Travis Dorch. Here's uh, Dave Minnick. Number 34 on the first down and 10 play. He's the lone setback on second down and seven from the 11. Guesser, Nance is out of trouble, heads left, pulls up and lobs it out, and that one nearly picked off. On a uh, return of an interception by Jason David. Here's Guesser, intercepted. That one's picked off. I think Washington State got it back. Rodgers with the interception and then the fumble. Yes, indeed. So back-to-back -back turnovers in the same play. The interception and then the fumble. And a first down 10 results at the 29-yard line. Here's Gesser. Oh, what a blitz. That's a fault. No, they're calling that incomplete. Arm was coming forward. Here's Gesser. Flips it out left side. Incomplete. Third down. There's Adele. Screen pass. Left side. Minnick's got it. He's got three men in front. Plunges out of a tackle and is down finally at the 50-yard line. First down from the 50-yard line. They flip it out quickly. Left side. Jerome Riley. Here he goes. Rodgers chasing him. And a flag is down at the 41-yard line. And I think Mike Bush is going to be called for the holding. First down. <laughs> First down and 11. And here's Minnick again. He's a, he's a, a plunger. I mean, he just he's averaging about 10 and a half per game. Second down and six. Guesser. Deep for Bush. And Bush is there. Touchdown is 10th of the season. Forty-six yards. to keep the defender away. Extra point from Drew Dunning is up and good. 46-yard touchdown reception. Mike Bush makes amends for the holding call in a big way. Office and he'd see him watching film. He'd just kind of hang out and keep watching film and kept coming back and back and finally came out on the team. Here's Taylor Stubblefield, number 21, with the kickoff return. He's got some room. And Stubblefield tackled at the 27-yard line. Trailing by 14, Orton on first down. That's Chris Randolph. Here's Montreal Lowe. Oh, that one looked ugly from the get-go. As Lowe was stumbling after he got the uh, handoff Fred Shavies. That time it worked perfectly. Lowe on first down. He gets into the secondary. And motors across the 30 to the 32. Even though Foster had 102 yards in the game, he only had 22 in the second half. So much better from that point on. Orton Stubblefield slips the tackle and moves it to the 45-yard line. First down and 10, Purdue from the 45. Play fake. Orton rolls out, comes left, incomplete. Uh, just across the 50. 37 yards thus far in this game, second down and 10. Three wideouts. Orton hooks it out left side, intended for Chris James. So, 
big red fan all the way. Here comes a Max Blitz. Orton gets protection. Stumble field. It was just a little too far in front of him. He's just got to find the right range. Travis Dorsch on the punt and does. Taken at the 18-yard line. And Eric Coleman immediately tackled it. They've played that five-man defensive line on most first down plays. On first down, Dave Minnick in the backfield. Gesser rolls out after the fake and fires it toward air. Second down and 10. Washington State up by 14. Here's Adele coming from the backside. Jerome Riley knew he was going to get popped. He was very entertaining talking about how much he loves playing at Washington State. Didn't enjoy that play. Battles at both end. Schweigert with the blitz. Acts on the punt for the second time. Seth Morales and they come for the block. Don't get there. Very close. Morales with a fair catch grabs it at the 45. Try to get Stanford the ball downfield. Here's Stanford. that five man line again on first down. Orton rolls to his right and finds a receiver across the 50. And then your senior year, you're breaking in new quarterbacks. That, that's tough. Second down and one. Montrell low across the 45. Yeah, it's a fun week for everybody. You know, there's still a game to be played, but they have a lot of fun too. Orton across the middle, got it. Stratton the tight end, his third catch. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Out of the backfield, out of Purdue. Second down, draw play, flag down. First and 10, Orton in the spread. Fourth down lineman for Washington State. Good protection this time. And there's Taylor Stubblefield open at the 30. Fumbles! But it goes out of bounds. Possession to be retained by Purdue. And 14 nothing. Stanford bottom of the screen. Orton looks for Stanford, finds him, slips a tackle, and then uh, second effort comes. Left guard. First down and ten. Here's Lowe. He's uh, hit immediately. Manages to get a yard. Officially a gain of two. Second down and eight. Here's Orton. And again, a, a problem on the ground. Too many folks. Yeah. That part of Washington reminded his mom of her native land. Snap. Orton comes left. Intercepted. Threw it right to the defensive back. It's Jason David again. Two in the first quarter. Gets this one out to the 41-yard line and puts a period to an impressive drive. Here's Schweiger coming. The catch is made by Jerome Riley. There's a fumble. Picked up, and here goes Purdue. What a play by Gesser. Landon Johnson picks it up with a counterpunch. Watch the end of this play. Now, 65, Brandon Johnson, he's trying to rip the ball out. Watch Odom hit him in the back, and the ball pops out. But then Jason Gesser saves a touchdown. I mean, there's four guys there could have blocked. First down at the 17-yard line. Here's Orton. Finds a man, Seth Morales, inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. That's the end of the first quarter with our score, 14-0. We'll return to El Paso right after this message and a word from your local station. But Purdue now threatens after a fumble return of its own. Here's Orton into the flat left side. Taylor Stubblefield, the tackle is made almost immediately. Third and one. Montrell low got it first and goal at the five-yard line oh, touchdown now, I think they might have called him down I think you might have been right Vern because yeah see Mont Ryan Long beats the penetration and gets the first down now as he's spinning and fighting and going they must have just called him down by momentum because I didn't see his knee hit the ground the inadvertent whistle may have uh, made an appearance into the end zone Stanford out of bounds, short of the goal line. He's second and goal. Montrell Lowe goes left. Did not get it. True font again. We saw him against the pass. Jacob Lowe is the blocking back in front of Lowe. They hand it to Lowe. Touchdown, Purdue.
They're on the board, making a couple key throws. Dorch's extra point is up and good. 17 yards, it took them six plays. Lowe gets the touchdown from one yard out, 14-7. Great guy award winner this year. Hunter and place kicker and a kickoff man. And this one taken back from the one yard line by Bill Newman. Tackle is made out at the 21 yard line. First down and 10. Toss right. Dave Minnick, not much there. Almost went to Utah. Thought about that. That was the path Mike Anderson of the Broncos took to get into the NFL. This one is incomplete. Third down, 11. 12.05 to go, first half. Blitz. Guesser gets rid of it, incomplete across the middle. At his back. Seth Morales grabs it at the 35-yard line. Out of the first tackle, out of the second, and out of bounds. 11.46 to go, first half. And here's Orton handing it off, play action rather, and he finds his tight end. Tim Stratton, number 89. Second down, Purdue at the 45-yard line. They hand it off. Joey Harris, number 25, who spells Montreal low. First down and 10 from the 43-yard line. Hand off again. Harris, cutback play, gets to the 40, inside the 40. And uh, second and six. Here's Orton. Little pattern underneath, and he's got his tight end at the 30-yard line. And head to the left side. Motion in the line. Off sides. Now, Joey he's Harris. He's, he's got, got some Reddit. speed. He's got Orton in front. Here is Harris. The flag, I think, will be against Washington yeah. State. Yeah, it should be off sides for in the spring. Absolutely. <laughs> First and goal. Here's Harris. Inside the five to the four-yard line. Nine to go. A.T. Simpson has come in at a wide out. He's uh, split wide to the left side. Here's Orton looking right all the way. Now dances left. Pulls up. And is tackled with a chance now to tie this up. And on third down, Orton pressure. Knocked down back at the 11. Randall Smith, number 30. And so Travis Dorch is on the field. 20 of 25 this year. Ben Smith is the holder. The kick is up. And it is good. So Purdue gets three. They wanted seven, but uh, they are back in the thick of this. 14-10. Washington State. 14-10. Here's Dorch. With the kickoff, and Eric Coleman will grab this one from the one-yard line. Coleman. Spilled as he gets to the 25-yard line. Rose Bowl in 15. Here's Kegel on the quarterback. And uh, the yards are coming very yeah. difficult for Dave Minnick today. Cougars coming off a 9-2 season. The only losses to Oregon. And uh, the final regular season game at Washington. Here's quarterback draw. Kegel keeps it. And uh, that'll bring up, did not start today game, today's game. He uh, was in the doghouse with the coaches for some critical comments he made. That one's going to be incomplete as Kegel is popped. Has been made faster and faster. Bad snap. They come after Cox and miss him. And Cox on the run. Low snap. They had a chance for the tackle. And Allen Cox. Runs 19 yards for a first down. Right. Take advantage of that play and this field position. Here comes the blitz. Throws it deep. That's going to be a flag. Yeah. Two flags. On the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. How could you be anything but a defensive coordinator <laughs> with the name Brock Spack? There's a handoff. Dave Minnick. Second down, four. Cougars lead by four. There's a little flip left side, incomplete. It'll be third down. A stop here could be huge for the Boilermakers. Gesser with the audible. He's got four wideouts. Here comes the blitz. And Gesser has to hurry it. 
Incomplete. Drew Dunning, his longest of the year is 49 yards. This will be 47. He's got the breeze at his back. Nailed it. Well done for Drew Dunning. He's now 15 of 19 for the season, and they saw a reason he's a first-team All-Pac-10 pick. As you might expect, getting ready to kick off. They're not going to change what they've been doing. They've been successful enough. There's the handoff. Low, number three. Montrell low. Well, that in part due to the relationship between the respective coaches, Joe Tiller and Mike Price, and the relationships on the staff. They're just it's like a spider web. Here's Stratton with his sixth catch out to the 26. Three down linemen now for Washington State. But they look like they're going to bring the house. They bring a bunch. Nice. Sure was. The catch is made at the 32 by Stratton. Seven catches first half for Tim Stratton. Play fake. Orton looks deep, fires it deep. He's got Stubblefield. Taylor Stubblefield in a foot race. Caught from behind. And down at the three and a half yard line. Eric Coleman caught him. Orton to Stubblefield. Three wideouts now. Stand up with the wide man. Here's Orton. Looks for Stubblefield. Got him. Touchdown, Purdue. <laughs> Now, Stubblefield from Yakima, Washington. Told you earlier, he thought about going to Washington State. Told him he would, then changed his mind. Makes the pay. Purdue has tied it up. 17-all. Taylor Stubblefield doesn't feel the chill at all. Here's the kick. Dortch, it's taken by Newman at the five-yard line. Bill Newman... Struggles, can't quite shake the tackle. Nice combinations between the two freshmen. First down at the 15 with 1.48 to go. Gesser being chased, hit as he lets it go. He's got Bush open, but uh, can't hook up with him. Second down. Gesser, here comes the blitz. There goes the hit. And that one is incomplete. That floated up. We both felt that the edge would be Washington State's. There's pressure again as Gesser is popped. Now that may call for a flag. Nope. With one timeout left, has a chance for pretty good field position here. Cox with the punt, taken by Morales at the 39. Breaks out of a tackle there at the 48-yard line. I think Kyle Orton can feel free to take a few chances on this drive. Here's Orton across the middle. Incomplete, knocked down. Second down and 10. Comes right for Morales. It's low, down around the ankles. It's uh, just hard for a quarterback to separate from the line of scrimmage enough. Here's third down. Orton comes right. Got him in! Catch is made for the first down at the 38-yard line. 17 of 26. Blitz, Orton, drop. Flag is down. You see, it, it's interesting to see, even though there's pressure coming. After the penalty, first and five, but it's coming again. Good protection, incomplete. Purdue with one timeout left. Four-man rush. No pressure at all. He's got deep, and it's tipped away. Nice play. That has a third and five. Orton, pressure, but it's coming. Pass incomplete. And was a finalist for the Lou Groza Award. He's got uh, a 50-yard effort now. 51 officially for Dortch. His long of the season is 50. Boy, he nailed that. Whoa! <laughs> That's into the wind. That thing got up in a hurry, too. I mean, that was a high kick with lots of distance. 6'6", six, six senior from Bozeman, Montana, 51 yards. And he will now kick off. Coleman drifts back and takes it a yard in. He'll bring it out. 
He will bring it out to the 23 yard line. Nice return. Out of the backfield, Minnick. For a bunch. Nice play. Scott Lund has come in as a wide receiver as well, number 22. Here comes the blitz. Guesser steps up. Hit and dropped at the 41 yard line. Speed. Here's Guesser. Here comes the blitz. The pressure again. Enormous. And the ball is intercepted. That, that was like a punt. I mean, Jason Guesser just. Final play of the first half. Led by its defense, Purdue has roared back and taken a three-point halftime lead. Kyle Orton, the freshman quarterback, had a pretty decent first half as well. 2017, again, nails it, and Purdue will take over. Just the quick outs and a little flat passes, and, and we're not. And... Uh, we can bring it in and protect, you know, seven or... Nice relationship between yeah. the two. Well, just because you're friends doesn't mean that you don't compete as hard as you can. And, <laughs> and the pass is intercepted. Orton has been picked off for the third time. This is Lamont Thompson's ninth interception of the season. Quick flip out, left side, caught by Riley. Riley's got some room. And he is tackled inside the 20. Quicker throws to defeat the blitz. Here's a quick setup, and the pass almost picked off. That one almost went the other way. Second down and 10. And the quick setup. That one tipped away again. It's Farrell in the red zone this season. 30 touchdowns, 11 field goals. Third and 10, blitz coming. Deep in the corner. McElrath is there and can't make the catch. Drew Dunning will try for the tie from 34 yards out. And he has done it. Second field goal of the game for Drew Dunning. And the interception leads to three. We're tied at 20. Here's Holiday. This one chases stubble field back and goes through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. True freshman from Altoona, Iowa, 18 to 31, three interceptions. And off to Montreal low, gets a yard. At the 21. Cougars brings four, good pressure. That forces Orton to run. And Randall Smith, number 30, third and four. Stunts defensively. Orton pumps once. Plants it out to the left side and finds John Standiford. That'll be good. From the 33, first and 10. This time under center. Hand off to Lowe. Coming right. Looks for blocking help. Good defensive play instead. Marcus Trafant. Five-man line again for Washington State. Purdue needs to throw here. And the blitz as well. And the quick flip out to the right side for Stratton. Yes. <laughs> On the defense, 10-yard penalty, automatic first down. 2020, speaking of vision, that's a reach. <laughs> Hand off low. Nice run across the 50 to the 49-yard line. And 14 for 24 today. Out of the spread again on second down. Orton finds, oh, dropped by Standiford. And they are at the 49 of Washington State. Here comes the pressure across the middle. There's the tight end and that. A.T. Simpson again in the ball game, wide to the left. Here's Lowe, tries to break into the secondary. We've certainly seen that here in the ball game today. Here's a play fake, Orton coming to his right. Gets a good block, but then the pressure each week. Third and nine, three man in front. And five are coming, and there is Orton hit from behind. That's an incomplete pass, and he was belted. He is in for the second time today. They call him the Sky Cunt Punter, and uh, there are a couple of flags thrown. We're going to have the uh, 
Mountain Conference. USA officials would have a conference. Third quarter from the Sun Bowl in El Paso. And again, the pressure on Gesser. He throws it a little too high. Now they back out. Four down. Quick off the block is Adele. And Gesser moving, firing incomplete. He really is uneasy yeah. back there. And they look at a third and ten here. Out of the gun. Here comes the blitz. Gesser. And that should throw. There's the flag. Yep. Landon Johnson was over the back of the intended receiver. Only one sack, but the pressures and the hurries are significant. Here's the pass right side. Caught. And Price says he's got a price to pay. <laughs> Second down. Hand on. John Tippins, number 25, on a relief of... And off Minnick, nothing doing. Oh, waits it. Nice and deep, Morales chased all the way back, lets it go over his head into the end zone. We're, we're back to play. Here's a handoff in big trouble. Joey Harris, 6-10 to go, third quarter. And Orton again working out of the shotgun just as beat the play clock. Here comes Randall Smith. And Orton just dumped it, and it was almost intercepted. 6.03 to play. Here comes the blitz again. Orton got him. Sacked and dropped at the eight-yard line. Billy Newman, yeah. number 10. Now Billy Newman. Travis Dorsch, they come after him. Don't block this one. And Eric Coleman at the 48 comes to the left side. Doesn't have much blocking help. Actually loses yardage. Not here for the game. Here's Gesser back to throw. Screen pass, left side. And they have found... Now Gesser and the Cougars will go from the spread on first down at the Purdue 40. Again, the blitz, the quick one. That's caught by Riley. Little crossing pattern underneath, and Riley inside the 15 and hauled down at the 9. And a first and goal from the 9 in a game that's tied 20 all. And it off to Minnick up the middle. Nice run. To the 5-yard line. So this offense led by Jason Gesser has been productive all year. Second down, quarterback draw. Gesser to the 1-yard line. Third and goal. Quarterback snake. Gesser. There's a penalty, though. Flag is down, thrown on the far side. The meeting again. There we are. Touchdown. It's the extra point. Drew Dunning. Up and good. Washington State has broken the tie. They're up by seven. Holiday with the kick. And again, boy, what a potent weapon that is. Yeah. Joey Harris in the backfield now. And Purdue goes deep for Stanford. Adjustment in the battle for the ball. Second down from the 20, second and 10. Quick flip left side. Stanford has the grab and uh, he is driven out of bounds. At the Blitz, tipped, incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Thompson almost got another pick. Here's Dorsch with the kick. Coleman is back, awaits it, grabs it at the 34-yard line. He's got some room. And forced out of bounds across the 45. First down now. 27-20, Washington State with the lead. Gesser and Purdue with a delayed brush. Gesser goes deep left side. Got McElrath. Nice pass. Laid it out in McElrath. That's a gain of 32. Here's Gesser, left side. Riley inside the 15 of the 13-yard line. Jason White, number 13, on the field now for Washington State. He's one of the three receivers split wide right. Here's Gesser, lobs it into the end zone. McElrath tipped away nicely. Out of the spread. Here comes the blitz. Across the middle, too high. This one from 30 yards out. Dunning 16 of 20 on the gear, including today's play. High snap. 
Hold is down good and the kick is perfect. When they were in the first grade. Here's the kick. And again a touchback. The Washington State defense has kind of stepped up and taken over the game a little bit. On first down, here's Orton. Pulls up and fires it into the Washington State bench. And really learned a lot of football that week from Drew Brees. Here's Orton coming right. Hit as he lets it go. And this one's into the Purdue bench area. And they won a Big Ten championship sooner than anybody thought. There's the rush. Flags are down. Orton with a free play goes deep and it's tipped away at the last minute. Penalties declined. Fourth down. Horn <laughs> swaggle will do. Yeah, that's a that's a good Texas word. We can get you out of Canton, but not for long. Here's Coleman out of bounds. At the you know, he hit a couple nice throws and then your confidence comes back quickly. Goes deep, man coverage, right side, adjustment on the ball. And McElrath, who was not a factor at all, a 34-yard gain and a first down at the 38-yard line. Here's Gesser. This one a little too high. And both nine touchdowns. And they both can go up and get the football in the crowd. Second and ten, reverse. McElrath goes right. He's weaving his way inside the 30 and down at the 25. That is the end of three with our score, 30-20 Cougars. We'll return to El Paso, Texas, and the Sun Bowl right after this message and a word from your local station. We begin the fourth quarter, and Washington State leading by 10, 30-20, and threatening. Guesser, quick back up, left side. He's got McElrath open, and McElrath and threatening now with the second down and five. Guesser looking right, goes deep right side. And that one is intercepted in the end zone. Rodgers. Antoine Rodgers. Well, this was a bad decision by Jason Gesser. After the turnover, ball at the 20. Here's Orton back to throw. He's going deep. Way downfield for Stanford. Tipped away by the All-American Lamont Thompson. Yeah. And four of those came in one game against UCLA. That's right. Three down. Cougars are blitzing, bringing everybody. Nice play. Out of the spread again. Flag is down. Orton chased right by Nowey, the middle linebacker, and the pass incomplete. Offside on the defense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Kind of carrying the banner for the Pac-10 right now. The Pac-10 0 for 3 in bowl games right now. Here's the blitz again. Orton finds Stratton his tight end. And that saw Freddie Mitchell catch nine for UCLA last year. Here's uh, Montreal Lowe. Second down and five. Orton tried to throw, couldn't sack. across the middle he's got a wide receiver Stubblefield inside the 40 and a three-man rush out of the backfield low nice run sure was now Stubblefield and Stanford both split wide to the left looks like the blitz is coming it is Horton goes deep left side for Stubblefield and can't find him Amen. And Mike Price has just done a great job here in the last several years. Here's Orton out of the backfield. Orton goes deep, has a man oh, picked off. Touchback, and it's Lamont Thompson with his 10th interception of the season, second today. That's a, that's a long climb. Yeah. On first down. Gesser is popped as he lets it go, and it is caught at the other end. Wow! McElrath with another big play. In the First and 10 at the 39. 
Left side, Dave Minnick. And he busts loose inside the 30. That he feels like he can make the plays again. There's Minnick again. Dave Minnick. Dave Minnick was excited to meet Vern Lundquist. He, it's a, it's a great Vern Lundquist. Yeah, it's an old man recognizing an older man. <laughs> Todd and I travel the country. Uh, Defense, offside, five-yard penalty, still second down. You know what's amazing about this Washington State football, though, that Washington State beat? I, I think his name was Ware or something like that. <laughs> There's a bubble. Here's Dunning for the field goal attempt. The hold is down. The kick is up. And it is perfect as he has been today. Drew Dunning from 37 yards out. And that increases the Cougars' lead. They're up by 13. Sun Bowl in El Paso. Five of seven kickoffs have been touchbacks. This one into the wind will be returned for Holiday and uh, Sports Live. Orton comes left on first down. Stanford makes the grab. Marcus Trufant. Amy's knocked down several passes. This pass complete to Stanford across the middle for the first down. First down, 10, Purdue. Bring this one back, a flag thrown. Now the school, here's uh, Orton going right, throwing it off balance and out of bounds. Orton, caught and dropped. Fred Chavis, number six. And gets to the quarterback. And a flag thrown on the near side. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. And Orton goes deep for Stubblefield. Diving catch is made up at the 50-yard line. And he's a guy, a young kid, that's just going to get better and better. Third and 28, and they get 28. Now Orton looks deep. Can't find anybody open. Struggles forward and gets five on his own. 54 passing attempts today. Across the middle, caught. Remember when Drew Brees threw for 83 yeah. times in a game at Wisconsin? And two. Tim Stratton, the all-time leading receiver at Purdue. Only two games in his career, he never caught a pass. And it's first down and 10. Right side, tipped away, incomplete. In the Sun Bowl. Second down, and here's Orton going deep across the middle, incomplete. Third and ten. Orton under pressure, incomplete. Fourth and ten. Spent quite some time in Calgary in the Canadian Football League up until the mid-80s. Here's the pass left, and it's good for the first down. Stanford inside the 30. It's Kyle Orton, 60 passes today. He's about to try his 61st. Deep in the end zone, overthrown in the end zone. It is only in his first start against Indiana, 52 times against Notre Dame, and now he'll break all those records today. Orton completes the pass, stops the clock. He's been the guy they've tried to get the ball to. On fourth and one, blitz coming. Orton goes right side, incomplete. Ball goes over on downs. It was intended for Tim Stratton. Lamont Thompson, Randall Smith will be gone. Because if, if they would have played in Washington State would have won, there's a good chance that Oregon would have been the number two team playing against Miami in the Rose Bowl. So 33 of 64 for Orton. 15 of 39. And I guess who's going to put it up again. That's a bit of a surprise. Flag is down. And Brady Doe with the hold of back. And the handoff to Dave Minnick. Out to the 40-yard line. For the end of the season. On second down, Dave Minnick. He is... Caught for a loss at the 38-yard line. Also the punters and kickers. Pass left side incomplete. Stops the clock. Dave 
taken by Morales at the 23. And tackled at the 27. Both teams out of timeouts, and here's Orton deep down the middle. That was incomplete. 22nd in the aftermath of the uh, postponed games. Finish his Purdue career. There's Stratton with another catch over the middle. 69. Orton, deep left side. There's Stubblefield, got it! Touchdown! 51 yards! Don't go anywhere yet, folks. <laughs> We're within a touchdown. Got it. And Purdue has no timeout, so they can't afford to kick it deep and hope that their defense can stop them. It's Dorsch. There's the hands team. Purdue's got it. Billy Newman for Washington State tried to catch it. First down and 10 from the 49-yard line. Orton steps up, comes to his left, pulls up and fires it. Caught inside the 30. Clock stops till they reset the chains. Playing aggressive, attacking the quarterback. Now can they crank it back up here with the game on the line? Left side, Stanford out of bounds to stop the clock at the 21. Second down and two. Horton pumps once, off balance, incomplete. Third down. A minute 25, but you got to get this first down. Comes left again, tipped, incomplete, fourth down. You don't make it this time, you're done. Orton, pressure, hit, incomplete. Two plays in a row, they got their hands on the football. Randall Smith, standing football game. And you know the amazing thing about those knockdowns is... And the Cougars of Washington State. Final 40 seconds of this one. Jack Stockton up here in the booth. Chuck Gardner, Joe Castena, Matt Sign. Been a great season. Woody McHale, the victorious honorary captain. Detective Kenneth Pepe happy as well. I'm sure that he was here. Mike Price and the Washington State Cougars win their 10th of the season. They hang on and defeat Purdue 33-27.